Hello, uh, this question is about Darcy's law. The question is a cylindrical column with the length L contains packed spherical grains with a saturated hydraulic conductivity of Ks. Assume the column is packed vertically with the bottom open to the atmosphere. A constant height of water B is maintained continuously on the top surface. Assume Ks is constant everywhere in the liquid saturated packed bed. Drive an expression to calculate the hydrostatic pressure P at an arbitrary height Z above the bottom of the column as a function of B, L and Z. Okay, so what you have here, there is a column, okay, and that is a packed bed and you have a constant height of water B uh, maintained on top of this column, okay, and the water basically is, uh, this is the outlet, the bottom of the column. If you assume the bottom of the column at the reference level, the question is derive an expression to calculate the hydrostatic pressure at an arbitrary height z above the bottom of the column. So let's call for example this is arbitrary height z above the bottom of the column and the question is what is the hydrostatic pressure at this uh, point. So if you write the Dorsey's law between this point and the outlet q will be equal to minus k times hydraulic head at this point minus hydraulic head at this point divided by the legs. So hydraulic head at this point has two components. One is the uh, basic the hydrostatic pressure that is PZ, which we don't know what it is and that's actually the question, plus the gravitational head which will be equal to Z, that is the vertical distance between point of interest and the reference level. So plus Z minus hydraulic head at this point which is again gravitational potential basically which is equal to zero and hydrostatic pressure since the water is introduced or since the liquid is introduced to the atmosphere that is zero therefore minus zero divided by length which is equal to z okay so you have this one on the other hand you can write the Dorsey's law between inlet and outlet okay because the flux is the same so you can still write uh, here by the way minus ks it should be because the saturated hydraulic conductivity is illustrated by ks so you can write q is equal to minus ks times the same story as before but here you need to calculate the hydraulic head at this point minus the hydraulic head at that point so hydraulic head at this point uh, is equal to again uh, pressure potential plus gravitational potential and pressure potential is equal to b that is hydrostatic pressure b uh, which is equal to the vertical distance between point of interest and the free water surface plus gravitational potential and the length of the column we already know that is L which is so gravitational potential is equal to the vertical distance between point of interest and reference level so that will be B plus L minus the hydraulic head at this point at the outlet which is equal to zero divided by length which is L so these two you can equate these two expression okay therefore you can write minus ks times pz plus z divided by z is equal to minus ks b plus l divided by l and if you rearrange this equation you obtain pz uh, is equal to b divided by l times z okay and that's the solution to this question